What's up, y'all? Shield House here. Welcome back to the NASCAR Thunder 04 career. Today we go to one of my worst tracks in the entire game, Richmond Raceway. We have been an absolute dumpster fire every time we have raced here. Will this be the time I figure out how the hell to drive this place? Ah, I don't know. Probably not. But I can tell you one track I did figure out in the last episode, Darlington. We got fourth, legitimately fourth on pace at Darlington. This was just the best race. Uh, you know, we finished fourth at Daytona, fourth at Talladega. But to finish fourth on a quote-unquote normal racetrack, but at Darlington of all places, that was pretty fucking hype. So uh, that was cool. But now we got to focus on Richmond, a track, like I said, historically, we've been absolutely awful at. Um, yeah, we're running out of races here with Payday on the car. I want to send them off with some really good finishes here to build momentum for that next sponsor we get. But, uh, yeah, we just we got to conquer this obstacle I'll call Richmond obstacle. That's that's being nice, I think. I, I want to say worse words, but this is a family program. All right, let's look at the point standings. Tony Stewart's got himself like 150 points now over Ricky Rudd. He's starting to pull away with this thing a little bit. Kevin Harvick's in third. Newman, Dale Jr., Dale Jarrett, Mark Martin, Bobby Labonte, Jimmy Johnson, and Matt Kenseth round out the top 10 in points. Let's see where we are after that fourth place finish at Darlington. Oh, 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 we're 31st. We are 23 points out of 30th. Oh, man. We made a big jump up. We passed a couple of guys. Weren't we like 34th not too long ago? <laughs> Shit. We're, we're right there on the door of 30th, and that's where I said I wanted to be here in Season 2. Well, we keep these runs going. We might surpass that by a wide margin. I mean... Well, I don't know. It's a couple hundred points up to these guys, but pff, why not? We got four races left on this uh, skid pad upgrade for the shop. They give us plus 10 tire wear. Um, so that's good to know. However, I started thinking about preparing for next season in the Daytona 500. I really want to make sure that we bring an amazing car for season three to the Daytona 500. And if we're going to do that, we're getting about to that point where we need to start building now. So uh, if we want to do a premium build of nine races for any of our components for Daytona, I think we need to start now. So there are 11 races left in season two. Now a premium build, which is the best that these guys can build is nine races. So we still have a little bit of time if we didn't want to do it just yet. Um, if we did it, you know, and got it in, I think we'd have it for like Phoenix, maybe Rockingham. No, Phoenix, then Rockingham, then Homestead. So, but I really want to make sure we have the, the best stuff going into next season. So, uh, we need to sort of evaluate what we can do because we have, you know, we have really good stuff right now. I mean, you look in the body shop, we got four great bodies that are all in good condition. We got four great engines, you know, once this one's done being repaired. Um, and we got four great chassis, but... I don't know. I kind of want to do a premium build in each department and and have a really stout Daytona car to try and go out and win the Daytona 500 on speed. So that's exactly what I've done here in the engine department is uh, we got a brand new premium build going. And you see there, this thing's going to be nuts. 66 power, 67 efficiency. Uh, it's going to be a really nice motor. And the body shop, we're going to do the same thing. Brand new nine race build going in the body shop. 67 down for 66 draft. That'll be really good too. That'll be that'll be a nice piece for Daytona as well, and and it'll give us great uh, plenty of great use uh, for many races in next season, but especially for Daytona and in the body shop. 67, 66. I mean, they all sound so familiar. One another mid 60s rated pieces of equipment. It's gonna be <laughs> that's gonna be great for Daytona. All right, let's put something together here for Richmond. We've got uh, New Hampshire and then Dover and then Talladega as the next four races. So, um, yeah, with New Hampshire, we're going to want in a lot of tire grip. Richmond, we're going to probably want more. Uh, let's take this. Let's take the best that we got. 62, 61. That'll be fine. Engine side. Yeah. Whatever. About basically the same. And the body shop, uh, again, all very good options here. Uh, I'll, I'll take a lot of, uh, I'll take a lot of downforce. Eh, I'll take a little less downforce. We'll, we'll, we'll use this body for New Hampshire. Downforce, I think, will be a little more important. Nah, eh, fuck it. We'll take the best thing we have. Why not? 
All right, car rating 62. I'm indecisive. I'm a Libra. Don't know what to tell you. Let's head to the track. Yeah, the, the, <laughs> not much has changed at, Rich, at Richmond. Um, this, uh, this car sucks here. Everything sucks here. I just, I can't figure it out. I don't know why. I can't get down into these corners like the AI can. They just, they're able to enter so much faster than me. It's just, uh, every, every time I try to compensate for it one way or the other, I just get, either I get loose on entry or I get tight in the center. It doesn't matter what I do. It's all bad, so. Yeah, you know, if we start in the back, it's not a big deal. Wow, quick lap. That put us on the pole. Fuck off! Are you serious? Oh my god. <sighs> Short track racing under the lights tonight from the Richmond International Raceway. Barney, the fans are eager for the race to begin. Tell us about Richmond. This is a fast track, even though it's less than a mile. Richmond's smooth surface gives the drivers plenty of room to maneuver and make clean passes. But you'll still see a fair share of bumping going on out there. The 21 car is starting up a bit of a rivalry recently with Stanton Barrett. They've been racing hard out there, and that's to be expected, but they better be careful their recent battles don't escalate into something more. Jeff Gordon leads all active drivers in victories. That's mighty impressive for such a young driver. Gordon has won at almost every track on the circuit, and there are not many drivers who can say that. He is a threat to win each and every week, no matter where we are. Stanton Barrett is towards the bottom of the points list this season. And of course, nobody wants to be on the bottom of that points list. You'll have to work extra hard to pick up spots. Not an easy task to dig yourself out of a hole in this series. Well, this, uh, <laughs> I'd say the, uh, the likelihood of a double header here is, is pretty high. Um, I can't believe we won pole again. Uh, we've won pole in every race that Payday's been with us, except for like, what, two or three of them? Pretty crazy, but all right, here we go, 100 laps. If, if we make all 100 laps, I'll be fucking surprised. I made a little bit of an adjustment just to tighten up the car a little bit just because it likes to get loose on corner entry. And when it gets loose on corner entry, it's really not fun. Oh, yeah, we're just going to go way up the track because... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, back down to the bottom. I try to keep up with it when it gets loose. I try to keep up with it on, you know, with the the steering input, and it's just like it don't matter what I do. I'm just along for the ride. Hey, Jimmy, <laughs> don't mind me. Just get choppy a little bit there. I'm just yeah. The car is just so. Oh my God, the car is just. So unpredictable, so edgy and skatey. Like, what am I supposed to do with this car that drives like this? It's ridiculous. But whatever. So if I could just stay out of the way, not get run over, not piss people off, and just hang around, then I would say that's a good enough day for me. Remember, top 35. That's all we got to do is finish to the top 35. Well, we're, uh, we've survived a tenth of this race. And we're still in the top 20, which is very exciting news. I'm, uh, yeah, I'm just putt-putting around, minding my own business. I mean, the car's actually driving better than it has... Oh, shouldn't say that. 
Uh, it's been driving better than it has Focus on your marks, buddy. the whole time I've been recording so far, so that's All clear, buddy. that's saying something. Number 10 is inside. Giving up some spots here to these guys, you know, by by making the car a little bit uh, tighter. It's definitely hurt my ability to enter the corner as well, but that's just the compromise I have to make. Otherwise, I'm going to be in even worse shape. Imagine. Someone got by you. Th this this is this is improved handling from what I've had the whole time I've been recording so far. This is a, this is a step up. <laughs> uh, I mean, I feel like I've tried everything that I can try when it comes to setup adjustments to try and squeeze better performance out of this car, and I just. I, Everything I tried was just either marginally better or excessively worse. Oh, fuck, 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 fuck. All right, well, that, uh, you know, I was just about to say, man, I just started clicking off some, some good lap times and have been keeping pace with those guys in front of me. But no. I, I booped Bill and it just spun me around. Or I was spinning and I booped Bill in the process. I don't know. But now, now we're a lap down. So we'll pit. Unfortunate. I wonder if... Wait. Do they do wave rounds? Hold on. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do a... I'm going to I'm going to do an abort. Will they wave me around since I'll be the first off pit road to get my lap back? Oh, let's see if I just 200 IQ'd this. No, I'm still lapped down. What the fuck? Oh, uh, this was just a uh yeah. This was not uh this was not Oh fuck. Oh my god. Unbelievable. We are under a yellow flag. The well, I guess it is believable since, you know, I didn't have any tires. All right. Well, now we'll pit. This has just gone downhill so fast. Well, now I'll pit. Um, damn. I really thought if I had aborted and was the first car off pit road in front of the leaders, they would have, like, waved me around or something. Didn't they give laps back in 2003? Or 2004? Didn't they have, like, a lucky dog or something? I don't even remember. That was so long ago. I feel like I've seen cars get away a lap back under caution in this game before. Oh, we got one blowing up. That Hermie Sadler. Yeah. All right. Well, that's one extra spot for us. We need, like, one more to blow up. I think uh, the 57 already blew up. Who is that? Ashton Lewis? I never remember who drives that fucking car. Um, so that means that now 35 cars are on the lead lap, so we can get up to 36th, which still doesn't help us. We need one more. Still there. Keep oh my, Kurt Busch. Damn, he threw it down there on the bottom. Nice All right, Kurt, go get you some. Still worked out for us. Yeah, I'm trying to... <laughs> Trying to reel in the four and the 16 uh, and still be respectful of the, the lead lap cars that I'm around. Respectful is a relative term, but um, yeah, I'm still just trying to figure out in my head how we're going to get 35th out of this. Like I said, the prospects are not looking good right now. But we're only halfway through this race. A lot of things can happen. Now, let's see. Stan Barrett's pissed because of last race at Darlington. He was a lapped car, and he would not get out of the way with, like, five to go as I was coming through in a top five spot. That's why he's mad, because I gave him the bumper a couple times. And that's, that's why he's upset. Sounds about right.
Look at that, Staten. I don't have to put the bumper to you to pass it clean. Don't let him buy, but try not to or him up. I don't have to put the bumper to you to pass you. I can do it clean. That's what I meant to say. My brain doesn't work when I try to talk and drive. Oh, we got pit stops. We got pit stops. All right. Don't push your fuel too far. Yeah, I mean, I'm going to have to come in pretty soon, too, but I should be able to go a little bit longer than these guys, considering I was the only one who pitted on that last caution. Um, huh. Uh, this car is starting to get snotty. The tires are getting snotty and slick and greasy. Whatever you want to call it. I'm just trying to, like, baby it right now. Back in the corners way up and just trying to float the car down into the corners. Number 88 is going on. Oh, we're going to have to pit here pretty, pretty imminently, I think. We are going to have to pit. Dale, I need to pit. Oh, fuck. Save your tires. Got one on. Fuck. All right, we made it. <laughs> I wasn't sure we were going to be able to make it or not. All right, I'm not making any adjustments to the car. It seemed to be fine. I really thought Dale was going to shoot under me right there, and I wasn't going to be able to pit. I was going to be pissed. I was going to be very pissed. All right, boys, four tires of fuel. Let's go. Oh, no. He fell. You dickhead. Ah. 20-second pit stop. Thanks, guys. Very cool. Thank you. Oh, man. We are in the thick of it here. Next car is the 26. Ooh. I don't even see the 26 up ahead, so that's not a positive sign. I don't know how far ahead he is. But it's not good for us. I, I don't I don't think we're gonna make the top thirty five today, ladies and gentlemen. I think this is just gonna be one of those races that was just absolute torture for nothing. Oh, 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 oh. Save it, save it. Oh Insane. What a save. I thought we were going to hit the fucking pit road barrels. Oh, wait, that was close. That was, uh, oh, fuck. You wanna come sit on All right. Okay. Well, you know, I was trying to compliment myself in my epic save, and then I just fucked it. So, uh, I'm going to shut up and drive to the end now. Never mind, I am spinning. <sighs> you know, why couldn't have spun out when everybody had pitted and I had I was up inside the top ten? That would have been the better strategy. I would have guaranteed myself a top thirty five at that point. Why didn't I just spin out and get a caution then? That would have been smart. This I just fucked myself. Well, we're at the back, so I guess we'll pit. Why did I even think of that? I should have just been like, ooh, I have really worn tires. Oops, I've been self-spinning in Richmond all day. Just self-spun again from the top ten. Hee hee, ha ha. That benefited me. But no, I didn't do that because I have a little thing called, um, what's it called? Uh, morals. Morals? Ethics? Standards? I'm just playing. I, I, it's a video game. I don't give a shit. I should have. That would have been smart. Try not to fall on your ass this time, Jackman. How about that? What are you doing? <gasps> oh, my Lord. I had to, I just had to talk shit. These guys literally ran into each other and went, <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Extra, extra practice this week, boys. Extra practice this week. All right, we need to pass people here. Oh, sorry. 
They are stacking, and I will go up top. I will go three wide. Oh, oh my God! That what the fuck was that? <laughs> I don't know what that was, but I killed somebody. I'm pretty sure. Clear. This is hectic right now. This is very hectic. Okay, we're clear. Oh, we're in, we're in 35th. We're in 35th. Back off, bitches. Back the fuck up. Ten, buddy. Ten to go. <gasps> this literally is the last. Oh, oh. Come on, David, drive. We can literally get 35th. We just have to not fuck it. Get off me, Joe. Sorry. Drive away. Drive away. How are we going to get 35th? I... Uh, I don't care. Focus, David. Focus. Oh, it's the white flag. Thank the Lord. Let's finish this race off. We are barely going to scrape by by the skin of our teeth with what we needed to do. Oh, my God. I can't believe it. Perseverance. Never give up attitude. And it was all worth it in the end. This is why we don't give up. <laughs> give me my 30 play fifth uh, by English. 35th. Ah! <laughs> yes, that's the, that's the greatest 35th place finish I've ever had in my life. Oh, that's incredible. It was all worth it. That <laughs> was incredible. I spent that whole race thinking there was no way we were going to get 35th. And wouldn't you know, we got 35th. Um, yeah, sorry to the 26. I know I punted the shit out of him, but they were just stacking so much at the end of that race. Sorry, shit happens, pal. So Kevin Harvick gets the win over Jeff Gordon, Dale Jr., Rusty Wallace, Jeff Burton, Mark Martin, Bobby Labonte, Tony Stewart, Dale Jarrett, and Terry Labonte. We finished 35th. Hot damn. We finished 35th. Uh, after starting on pole, two laps down. But, I mean, that's what we need to do, right? Wrong, 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 wrong. Apparently not. What the hell is our... I thought we have to finish 35th or better. Or is it 30th or better? Is it 30th? I mean, they've only been on the car for like 17 races. You'd think I would know. Did I just get all excited for fucking nothing? I mean, apparently I did because we didn't get money. Am I stupid? <laughs> wow, I am stupid. Finish in 30th place. <sighs> that is embarrassing. Oh my god, I can just imagine how bad y'all are roasting me now in the comment section. <laughs> oh fuck, that is just, that is pathetically embarrassing. Oh, I'm just, I want to go jump off my roof. Well, that was, uh... <laughs> Today I learned what my sponsor expectations are. 17 races into an 18 race contract. Um, fuck, man. I am just speechless at how stupid I was in that moment. Um, well, that was all for naught. I uh, just yelled for no reason, and we finished like shit. So, great. Richmond can kiss my ass. Probably all the short tracks can kiss my ass. Uh, up next, New Hampshire. That was a fun race not too long ago. Um, so, we know what we need to do to make sure we go out and run top 30 for the last race with the payday car. Hopefully we can give them a good send off. And if we can get plus two prestige, really maybe get some awesome sponsor opportunities. So we'll, uh, we'll find out in the next episode, but I hope you appreciated this one and got a good laugh out of me being completely dumb. If you did make sure to leave a thumbs up on the video. It really helps me and the channel out a lot when you take the time to support the video that way. Of course, you can leave some comments down below telling me I'm a dumbass. And if you're new around here and you see that red subscribe button under the video, 
I hope today's the day I earned it from you because you saw just how dumb I am. I'm not, not only am I not good at the game, I'm also stupid. And if that isn't a good YouTuber, then I don't know what is. I appreciate you watching the video. Thank you so much as always. We will see you in the next one at New Hampshire.